that's our street from the other end to where we live. And that's looking west. Nice little cottagey type houses. And that's fish cat. <laughs> and that's a big crane thing. And that's up towards the Black Isle. And this is a maritime um, industrial estate building type thing called Gale Force. And that's back to our street. This is an old building on one of the streets that we walk up alongside the river. I always find it really interesting because it just looks, looks old 80s factory type style and the paint is peeling and there's strange chimneys and there's graffiti all over it. But I don't like the fence that's in front because it's stupid. Otherwise I'd probably get some nice photos. That is the roof of a house a few streets away that I've zoomed in on quite a bit and just noticed all the birds on there make it look like a furry roof. Yay! And that, of course, is the local spa store. No ghetto would be complete without it. That's another nice building around here. Um, I guess it would depend on your definition of nice, but I kind of like it. Because it's quite old. And it's a funny shade of blue. And it's cool. This is heading north from where we live. Um, up to an area called Keswick. Um, it's apparently one of the roughest areas of Inverness, and it's quite dodgy sometimes. Now this is towards the town side. Over here, the wall has opened up, and we have this. Woohoo! Pretty nice river. And that's the industrial estate over the other side of the river, where I used to work at the call centre. Yes. And, and... Just a second, I'll zoom in. The yellow beast sticker in, and look at this. Pretty moon of joy. This is Keswick, Fishbush walking off there with all this camera gear. <laughs> and this is where we're going. We'll get a bit closer so you can see that. Karnak Point, 350 meters. That way. Oh, conundrum. Do I watch the path through the camera screen or do I actually look the path? So I watch the path on the camera screen, then I might trip on something in front of me. But if I watch the path in front of me, then I probably won't be filming very well. And you're probably getting seasick right about now. Fish bus scoping out shots. I just hear the beastie in the bushes. I can't see anything. No beasties. Let's go and see what fish bushes do. A what? A hobbit hole. Kilty has found a hobbit hole. Let's go and see this hobbit hole. Kilty is pointing to the hobbit hole. <laughs> it's a hobbit hole. <gasps> hobbit hole. Hobbit hole. The Nessie hobbits live there. No, no, it's hobbit hobbits. Just normal hobbits. Hobble hobbits. Hobbit what? Hobbit hobbits. Hobbit hobbits. Yes. Hobbit hobbits live there. That's the moon again. But that's all the industrial estate. And this is the River Ness, which is a very short river. I think it only flows some 10, 15 miles from Loch Ness. It starts at, at um, the eastern tip of, of Loch Ness and flows straight into the sea. And that's Keswick Bridge. It's um, quite a nice bridge, as bridges go. Quite a long bridge, and that goes over to the Black Isles, which are the mountains you can see. Just there. Uh, which isn't really an island at all, it's more like a, a, a strange, lumpy peninsula. Anyway, show you the moon. It's Digger Beasties working, and that's the moon just there. If I just show you on the left here, just broken out from the bushes, that's Bewley Firth sort of um, estuary type thing and there's a digger working just in the middle of the screen there I'm just coming to the end of Karnak Point now you can see Kilty just there looking around for a potential photograph and that's the strange green lighthouse thing Kessick Bridge and the picnic table not that it's ever warm enough here to sit on the edge of the coast on the picnic table with a picnic and the moon again. Yay! We like the moon, especially when it's a full moon. Full moons are, are very, very good. I was born under a full moon, so I kind of have a natural affinity for full moons. Yeah, they make me go kind of mad, which is nice. And that's where the bridge gets to the Black Isle. And Kilty Fish. Kilty Fish! Say hello, Kilty Fish. <laughs> Kilty Fish is camera shy. Oh, hello. Hello. Rawr.
and this is Beaulieu Firth up that way and some mountains in the background and coming around this way the Black Isles across there Keswick Bridge and the Firth carries on away that way this um, stretch of water just here the narrow bit is Ness River or River Ness as I should really call it um, but up there it becomes Murray Firth just before it hits the sea Oh yes, the local drinks of choice. It's an excellent selection. A bottle of Oasis. And a full bottle of Oasis. Yes, a full bottle of Oasis, okay. which has been opened. The seal has gone there. And a bottle of cheap wine. Hooray! Some graffiti. And looking up to the top of the lighthouse thingy. We have the local logo. The, the local logo. That's the official Merkinch seal. The official Merkinch seal. Yes. Rah. He's making naughty signs with his finger. This is where we're heading. See these mountains in the background up here there. There's a little bit of land just behind that. That's Dolphin Point. So we're going to be walking back down the way we came, all along the, the coastal line there, and back down this path. And off goes Fishpush on his merry way, with his hat on, because he's a wimp. This is Fishpush. Hello. We're heading up towards the coast. We're, yes, but it's the coast of the Firth and not the coast of the sea. Hopefully there won't be any ant lions, but you never know. <gasps> ant lions. Yes, Fishpush has been playing lots and lots of Half-Life recently. And look, there's a little red boat of happy joy. So I can zoom in further, but for some reason it's not focusing properly. So this is as close as I can get. You can see the happy digger of light and the happy little red boat of joy. I'm not sure what they're doing there, but there's tracks and stuff. So they're doing something, obviously, or they wouldn't be there. We're approaching the end of Dolphin Point now, and there's this little boat. There's a cute little boat. With head crabs. <laughs> With head crabs, apparently. Um, Just waiting to burst out. Yes, head crabs waiting to burst out. Yeah. Back onto the coast. Zombies in that building. Um, apparently there's zombies in that building. Zombine. Zombines. Yeah. Anyone else plays Half Life, you know what he's on about. If you don't, then you shit out of luck. Here's the bridge, it's getting quite dark now. Looking around. Happy benches of joy, all in a pretty line. I bet they're burying infected survivors. <laughs> You wouldn't think that the digger and the little red boat are burying infected survivors. 